see our pastor, David Ray, and we love you all, and the Father loves you. The sheep hear his voice. Let us pray. Father, we love you tonight with all our hearts. We thank you, God, in real time we do things. We don't do preparation type things, but we do things in real time, and sometimes uh, mistakes happen, errors happen. But Father, we serve a real time Father tonight, yes. and we praise you. When we mess up or we do good, God, you're still going to come through and shine in Jesus' yes. name. Move in a mighty way on this message tonight. Move on the thousands that will watch the broadcast now and later through all the Growing Together Ministry worldwide platforms. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 The sheep hear his voice. Yes. Verse 1. Burly, burly, I say unto you, this is Jesus talking, burly, burly. So there comes an emphasis here, burly, burly. That means stop twiddling around. That means stop eating, stop drinking, pay attention to what the Jesus Christ is about to say. That says Stop talking to other people because there were, there were conversations going on. So Jesus Christ had to get the attention of the people. Burly, burly, I say unto you. Now this you is for David Ray tonight. This you is for every one of you in the tabernacle tonight. And it's for our worldwide audience. It is not for what happened in John chapter 10 2,000 years ago. It's alive on November the 2nd, 2023. Let me say that again. It's alive on November the 2nd, 2023 in, on a Thursday night in Lewiston, Woodville, North Carolina. It is for us. He who enters not by the door into the sheepfold. There's only one door that we will enter through. And the Lord entered through as a shepherd. There's only one way to walk in to the holies of holies. There's only one way to experience a move of God. And it's through Him. We can't do it any other way. Many people try to do it other ways. Many people try to, to mix in psychology, sociology, and now even the, the Pope is trying to get in to this modern way of thinking and adapt it to the Catholic Church. That is called leaving the Word of God. Okay? It's called leaving the complete Word of God when we, we try to adapt our civilization now in to something what the Word of God did not teach. It's going on in churches today. So we can keep the young people. Let's go a little lax in standards so they'll come. Let's pep up the music. Let's have a few more lights. And it was a time that they had the, the fog lights and the smoke now they're moving away from that. But they were saying that the fog lights and the smog or whatever in the atmosphere was helping. That's not of the Holy Spirit. That is of men and women that wanted to look good for the crowd. You don't get the fullness of God unless you go through the correct door. Amen. 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 I will get the fullness of God. There is a price to pay to reach the shepherd. Mm -hmm. There is a heavy price to pay in your individual lives to walk through that one door. My Lord, my Lord. And many no. people want to go through the side door. Let's keep reading. Mm -hmm. But climbs up some other way. The same is a thief and a robber. 
Now that's powerful. Oh, Jesus was also always so merciful in all these statements. He's speaking here. You are a thief. You are a robber. How much more de demanding in, in, in conversation can that be? How much more direct can that be to call someone a thief and a robber? Mm -hmm. But today, we want to water it down and say it's all right to be a thief and a robber. Mm -hmm. See, we're moving from what the Word of God says because there, there are people crawling in to what they call the so-called church any kind of way they can and calling it church. Mm -hmm. You can't call it church moving in any way you want to, coming through the windows, coming through a side door, or coming up in some, some fancy car. There's only one way to experience the true holiness of God, to move into God, and that is through God the shepherd. Come on. Tonight, he is our shepherd. Yes, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So when we have a shepherd, we need some leading. Yes, Lord. Can I say that again? When you have a shepherd, you need some leading. Because the sheep can wander all around. The sheep could find them a little girlfriend over here or a little boyfriend and move away from the shepherd's voice. But when we are operating in God, we will hear the voice of God when we are separating from the true door. If you're not hearing the voice of God, I doubt if you're even saved. <laughs> when, when things are going wrong and I am into a point of where it could get negative in my mind, it could lead to other things, the Spirit of the living God speaks to me. The Spirit of the living God should speak to you because the sheep know the voice of the Father. Tonight, do you know the voice of the Father? Do you know the voice of the Father? Well, I did some bad things. You chose to do some bad things if, if you've accepted Him as personal Lord and Savior. You chose to move out in another way. But if you are truly in God every day, the shepherd will call your name and will stop you from you deviate from the narrow road of salvation. Amen. And now we want everyone to come in. I want everyone to pack this church. But I'm also very careful we're not going to deviate from the one door. Amen. We're not going to deviate or we're going to lower our standards so the door gets wider. What's the Bible say? Narrow is the gate. Many don't believe that. But I'm telling you, narrow is the way. And that price I'm talking about is a commitment to talking with God every day. You've got to read your Bible every day. You can't be absorbed in everyone else's problems in order to stay in the door. You will deviate from the door when you start trying to be a busybody. It's not my job to be a gossiper. It's not my job to be a busybody. I have to keep my relationship with God directed into the true door and hear the voice of the shepherd. Are you hearing the voice of the shepherd tonight? Are you hearing the voice of the shepherd? Or are you hearing your voice? Because many people hear their voice and so their flesh walks out in sin. And when their flesh walks out in sin, then they feel guilty later on. Because they do have a conscience. 
But if you're trying to crawl in, you're a thief and a robber tonight. You know what a thief is. You know what a robber is. John chapter 10 verse 1. You know what a thief is. You know what a robber is. I don't want to be called a thief. I don't want to be called a robber. This is Jesus Christ speaking. And this has significance tonight. Verse 2. But he who enters in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. The shepherd. How do I get to know my shepherd? I talk to him regular. When no one else wants to talk to me, he'll talk to me. When I feel like crying, he's willing to talk to me. Because I am a sheep. You are a sheep tonight. And we need to understand that. And he is my shepherd. Jesus alone is the true shepherd. There's a lot of false shepherds running around here. I've seen a lot of craziness overseas in Nigeria. Where preachers have had, have, have had churches with a lot of women in it. And the women coming up. And, and, and taking off from their waist up, taking their clothes off in front of the preacher and he's blessing them and all kinds of mud. They're going to bust hair wide open. And they call themselves men of God. It goes on. It goes on here in America. How dare you disintegrate, burn, and take away from the true shepherd and, and run towards the flesh and run towards money. The shepherd, the sheep hear his voice. To him, the porter opens and the sheep hear his voice. And he calls his own sheep by name. When we were singing tonight, we were singing he knows our name. I did not know that was going to be in the message tonight. That was confirmation that that's, that worship song was to be in the message. He knows your name. Yes. Hey. That should mean something to you right now. That he calls you by name. You say, preacher, don't call me. I doubt you say. He calls me by name. Because I can recognize when the Spirit of God is moving in my life. And the Spirit of the living God should be moving in our lives 24-7. Because the Holy Spirit does not take a time out from your body. Some people believe if we come to church on Sunday morning, we come on Thursday night, that's the only time we're activated in the Holy Ghost. We should be activated in the Holy Ghost 24 hours, 7 days a week, recognizing he's my shepherd. He's my shepherd. He's my shepherd. And I'm looking for my shepherd. As a sheep is in the pasture, he also, he, he looks for guidance. I look to the word of God for guidance. What are you looking to right now? What are you focused on right now? Where is your mind right now? And if your mind is focused on the shepherd, your life goes a whole lot easier. When your mind is focused on the true shepherd, there's a joy unspeakable, full of glory that goes on in your life. You're excited about God at 4 a.m. in the morning. You're excited about God at 10 a.m. in the morning. You're excited about God at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And I sure really get excited when I'm around people. I was riding with my wife this afternoon from Suffolk, Virginia. And I was telling her, the most excitement I get is Thursday night and Sunday. 
And then Tuesday, I add Tuesday. Because I love seeing people together. That brings me victory. Because I know that someone it's getting through to them. Yeah. And when it gets through to them, it's going to be a change take place. Yeah. Yeah. The, shep, the sheep hear his voice. Are you listening for the voice of yeah. God tonight? Yeah. Is yeah. David Ray listening for the voice yeah. of God? Yeah. God, God speaking to you right now. Will you receive the voice of God into your life? He's speaking to you right now. He is trying to turn you upside down for his glory. Will you let him in? Oh, yes, I love him. But I'm the type of sheep. I love to be on the outer pasture. Because if I see something grazing over there, it looks a little pretty. I like to run away. I won't, I won't take my four legs, the sheep, and move away. And in our case, it's two legs. We want to move away. When we start moving away from the shepherd, trouble's coming. Trouble's coming. When you move away from the shepherd and you think the grass is greener, the grass is always green with the true shepherd. You won't find nobody that will love you like Jesus. Your, your best lover tonight is Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. The best lover is Jesus Christ tonight. Yeah. Your husband, your wife, whoever, they can't love you like Jesus can love you. Oh, the sheep hear his voice tonight. Oh, I'm listening for the voice yeah. of the shepherd right yeah. now. Yeah. And he knows our name. Yeah. And leads them out. Look at verse 3, John chapter 10, and leads them out. Who is leading you right now? Is your flesh leading you or is the true shepherd leading you? Who's leading you? You're looking for a little side thrill. You're looking for a little bit. But all it will bring is hell in the long run. It will bring hell and you'll burn forever and forever in the long run. Because the shepherd leads us out. Because we're not going to always stay in the same pasture. The shepherd's going to carry you walking. Hallelujah. The shepherd's going to carry you walking. You're not going to always, because sometimes he's got to let you experience another piece of the land. I want you to experience another piece of the land tonight. He's carrying you. You always won't stay in the same area being with the shepherd. He's going to carry you to another area. Why is he carrying you? Oh, you got so comfortable in this area. And now the shepherd's leading you. He leads us in the other land to meet new people. To meet new people. Oh, we're so, we're so caught up on ourselves. We don't know what to do. We think we, we, we know everything. We think we know all the people. We Folks, I met people Tuesday i never seen before. That means this is working. Over 80 vehicles. And could have had many more. But we're not going to advertise it on Facebook. I know I'm lying. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Because we couldn't handle Northampton County, Bertie County, and Hertford County coming over here. All that good stuff. We couldn't handle it. I got good common sense. You may not think I got good common sense, but I do. There's a lot of folks watch us, including a lot of preachers. Hallelujah! And he leads them out. God, right now, as a sheep, you're being led by the Holy Ghost. You're being led into a new dimension in God right now. He's leading you out. But you are the sheep and you're hearing his voice right now. And when he puts forth his own sheep, he goes before them. Verse 4, John chapter 10. And the sheep Follow him, for they know his voice. Mm -hmm. You fall into sin later tonight. You fall into sin tomorrow. 
and you get into some mess you shouldn't have got into, and you know after you've done it, you shouldn't have done it. Preacher, preacher. That's the Holy Spirit calling you home to stop it. Preacher. Don't wait till it gets so bad that some that it could lead to your death because of what you may be doing. Don't let it wait to the point that it kills you or you get killed because you've done things you shouldn't have been done and then you got caught. Hallelujah! The sheep follow for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow. Mm. Mm. When you're walking close to the true shepherd, mm, you won't follow no stranger. Amen. Come on, somebody. You won't follow a stranger because you know what is right and what is wrong. Amen. And those that sin or those, their relationship is not where it needs to be. Let me insert that before I move on. You still be saved in sin. Preach it, Bishop. But those, their relationship, if you ask them how much do they read the Bible, how many minutes they spend in prayer every day, it's hardly none. And then they wonder why they're in a mess. But I go to church at midweek. I go to church on Sunday. That's not enough. For they know not the voice of strangers. True sheep cannot be deceived. Oh, there are many strangers that are on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, Instagram, our podcast station. There's a lot of strangers out there. There's a lot of leadership that once stayed near the shepherd. And now they have swayed from the Bible because they have people that are sitting in the pews and sitting in the cushion chairs that have allowed them to do it. There are churches filled to capacity and many of these men and women have strayed from the Word of God and they're sitting there receiving that mess. And they know it's wrong. How dare us follow a stranger? If you find something wrong, you need to get out. Confront them and then get out. If they're not willing to correct themselves. Confront and then get out if it's not corrected. Oh, the sheep hear his voice tonight. The final verse, verse 6, John chapter 10. The parable spoke Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they which were which he spoke unto them. You know, as Jesus was speaking, the people did not understand. There may be somebody in this tabernacle tonight, you don't understand a word I've just said, and we're listening. You know why you don't understand? Because your, the, your sins are not in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. There's no other way to put it. There's only one door for Pastor David Ray, overseer, <coughs> late for supper, crazy man, to walk through. And that's the true shepherd. The word of God. The Word of God is the only door I need to be walking through. The Word of God. And He hears the sheep. I hear His voice. Are you hearing His voice in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit right now? Are you hearing the voice of the shepherd now in Jesus' name all around the world? Hallelujah! Are you listening? <coughs> or are you saying in conclusion, I've got a belly full of you tonight. I'm ready to do something else. 
Or you saying, I'm hungry for more. I'm hungry for more of the shepherd. I'm hungry for more of the shepherd. Oh, if you're hungry, he'll feed you tonight. He'll feed you. He'll overfill. You'll be so fat you won't know what to do. Because the joy will be in your step. You People will be able to tell you different. Because you're overfilled with the Holy Ghost. And Jesus, the true shepherd, will do it for you. Glory. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. That gets me excited. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. The true shepherd is for us tonight. Yes. Nothing can defeat yes. a true sheep. Yes. Woo! Nothing. Yes. Cancer can't defeat you. Glory. Kidney stones can't defeat you. Stones of any kind in your body can't defeat a true sheep. Breathing problems can't defeat a true sheep. Anxiety, worry cannot defeat a true sheep. Loneliness cannot de defeat a true sheep. When you are listening for the voice of the shepherd, you may get down for a few minutes, but you get right back up. In Jesus' name, are you listening for the voice? The sheep hear his voice. Hallelujah. Have you received from John chapter 10 tonight? Have you received from the word of God tonight? Because sometimes, and I've said it many times, as I'm wrapping this up. We're so caught up in every, everyone else's problems, including David Bray, that we don't hear the voice of the shepherd. We're so worried about other people that we cannot control. We can't hear the word of the true shepherd. Oh, I want to hear the word of the shepherd tonight. I want to receive the word of the shepherd tonight. I want to walk in the word of the shepherd tonight. I want to run. Yeah. I want to put on a little running shoe and I want to run to my shepherd. Yeah. Oh, I may, I may get out there astray a little bit. Oh, somebody caught my eye. Some voice is discouraged because so I'm going to back away. But when the shepherd calls, the Holy Ghost calls, yeah. I'm going to go running back towards the yeah. shepherd. I'm going to go running back towards the shepherd. And you got to do that. Yes. You need to pick up your feet and run towards the shepherd in Jesus' name tonight. Because he's, he's willing to run towards you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory.